Hi guys, this is part one of the Adams motor build. So what I have here is a treadmill motor. This is a solid cast iron flywheel and it's balanced and it is for a treadmill because you need momentum. And I was fortunate to get this from my friend. I just got it. And what he did is he ripped all the wires off the stator rendering it useless and the design of this stator has 37 poles and there's six magnets on here and they're very odd the arrangement is is south north south north all the way around so there's actually 12 poles with uh, 37 teeth on this stator and I didn't like that I couldn't figure out what to do with that uh, so to be honest I'm just gonna throw this away I'm not sure what to use it for and I needed to come up with something different so I was able to come up with an idea that I think is going to work really good I actually made my own uh, system here and I have horseshoe shaped coils now and I'm going to use these three they're 12 ohms each so it will be 36 ohms which is pretty decent and I'll show you how I made those. It's kind of interesting. So, they are bathroom fans. That's what I used. There's a fan. I was looking at these and I saw these every day, especially at the scrap metal center where they recycle stuff. There's a ton of these fans, right? So I thought, you know, maybe it's good for something. And, well, I got out the bandsaw and cut these up and it just so happened that with a little grinding I was able to fit them in there and actually they fit perfect and that's gonna work this is gonna make a great Adams motor also this iron doesn't have any losses this is silicon steel electrical steel it's not the incorrect type of steel it's uh, actually made for this application so it will work really well and this is part one, so this is as far as I've got. But I'm quite excited to go ahead and continue building this. The next part I need to build is a bracket. And I need to drill holes through these. And make some sort of brace here. So, this is a balanced cast iron flywheel. And once you get it up to speed, it's going to be perfectly balanced. I'll show you the other side of it. So that's what it looks like. It's very heavy. And I can't think of any use for it at all other than building a Bedini motor or an Adams motor. And that's really the only thing that I can think this motor would be useful for. So that's what I'm going to use it for. And real quick, another idea here. If you've got a motorcycle laying around that you're not using, I don't know if you do, some people do. Here's a motorcycle alternator, otherwise known as a stator. The outside is actually the stator. That's your stator coils. This is a flywheel with magnets. And this is actually the arrangement of a Bedini motor or an Adams motor because your poles are alternating. And I have actually run this stator without rewinding it and what I did is I just hooked up a, a normal Bedini circuit and it actually will run this as a motor. The only problem is these wires are very thick on a stator and they're not really useful the way they are. You'll need to rewind these with a lot smaller wire, something that consumes a lot less power. So this is another project and I went to the hardware store and this is off of a Honda, this stator. This bolt from the hardware store fits straight through it. It's a half inch bolt. Fits very good. And I got half inch ball bearings. I was only able to find one, so this is going to have to wait until I can find the other ball bearing. But that's going to make a great Adams motor as well. Has a lot of mass to it with very powerful magnets. So I've got two Adams motors I can build now. And so that's where I'm at. And this is just a hobby. I wanted to build one of these and it's something that I've just wanted to build for a long time. So I'll keep you updated. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and uh, 
I would like to help you with your Adams motor and if you have any advice I would uh, also like to hear your advice. Thank you.